Hi everyone, it's Sheila and I am back to do the conclusion of my haul video for this past week and this is going to be basically my clothing items and I am going to do a very quick outfit of the day hence because I have on a pair of jeans that I did uh, purchase yesterday so I wanted to include those in my haul. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The t-shirt that I'm wearing today is a t-shirt that is from The Gap. I think I bought this back, I don't know, last summer, I think, or like kind of like when we were transitioning from summer to fall, and I got it on sale. I do love these t-shirts. They're totally comfortable. I think I probably paid like nine bucks or something like that for it. It's a Gap. Actually, I got it at The Gap Outlet, um, but at the Tingles Outlet Mall. So, yeah, pretty good deal on that. The jeans that I have on, um, these are, if you are familiar with the Miss Me brand jeans, I truly love this brand. Um, it's a jean that I feel, you know, can give a woman with a flat buttock, it can give her shape and give her a butt that makes her, you know, just make her look like, wow. So I, I just love these jeans, and they're quite expensive. I actually got a good deal on a pair yesterday, um, this pair, actually. I got them for $85, and um, yes, yeah, that's still a lot, but uh, these are, I mean, these jeans will last forever, and I have four pairs, but they're all too big, um, so I will probably put those on eBay to sell, because they are way too big, and I really just need to go ahead and see if I can't, you know, get some money for them, because they, they last forever, and they look practically brand new. The favorite part about these jeans are the pockets in the back, and ah! If um, you're not familiar, Miss Me jeans are famous for the fit and the fact that they usually always have a funky, crazy, wild design on the back of them, or the pockets will be something going on with the pockets if they have the back out pockets, but I just love this design. It's got the rhinestones, and then it's just got, I don't know what it is, but it's a funky design, and they have very, very detailed stitching around the sides and, you know, just everywhere. Just I, I just love, love the Miss Me jeans. They have such an awesome fit. They're, um, they, they cling to your body, but then they don't hold you, like, super, super tight. They, you know, they have giving room. Just really love them. Mine are in size 26, so, um, you know, if you are interested in them, they do come in, like, you know, the 26, 27, you know, different sizes like that. You know, they're not, like, the jeans size 5 or you know, or the lady size four. They are truly, uh, they are the ones that come in like the 26s or whatever. Now, the bottom of these jeans are going to be just the straight leg. Um, they will go over top of a boot, but they're not the flared out boot cut. They're just the straight, you know, ones that will fit over a boot. And speaking of fitting over a boot, I am going to show you the boots that I have on today. I don't have them on now because I generally take my shoes off when I come in the house. But these were actually given to me as a gift from a co-worker's wife. And um, so I paid nothing for them. I believe they are cold ponds. And so I have no idea how much they cost. I will say they are very high quality leather, totally comfortable. I wear these boots a lot when I go shopping because um, they will, you know, give me that ump of, you know, putting some heels on. But at the same time, I'm super comfortable as if I had on flat. Truly, truly love the boots. The belt that I have on. Gosh, I don't even know. I, I want to say it came from Target, um, or maybe, I don't know for sure, but I've had it for a very long time. It's a, just a leather belt. It does have somewhat of a design on it, and it's got like a, kind of like a, a embroidery design on it. And, um, yeah, I've had this belt forever, so I really can't tell you a whole lot about it, but it just looks cute with the outfit. <coughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and share with you now my clothing items that I didn't purchase this week. And um, while we were talking about the rodeo um, or my jeans, because by the way, I did get my jeans at the rodeo yesterday. And the best part about it is, see that bag back there? When you make the purchase of the jeans, and I shouldn't say the best part, but it was a great, I guess, aspect of buying the jeans. They give you this cute little bag, and it says um, Forever Cowgirl, which is where I got the jeans from. That That's the name of the store. So kudos to them for having a cute bag to go with their jeans. But um, I also bought this wallet. Now, this is not the typical wallet, or it's not a wallet that I would use typically. Like, um, I love my LV wallet, and we'll carry it until it falls apart. But I wanted a wallet because, A, I don't like stuffing my wallet too thick, and I am a person who buys um, bargains, and I don't mind taking things back when they don't work out. So I always have to have the seats handy. 
And any time a store offers any kind of rewards card or, um, you know, like any type of, you know, just like discount cards or whatever, then I like to get them. And I always have said I need a separate place to keep them so that they're easy accessible. Excuse me. And that they won't um, clutter up or, you know, make my wallet lose its shape. So I had actually seen one of these at TJ Maxx on the Hobo brand. And they had them for $19.99, you know, with the TJ Maxx price. And they did have one that was a tan color, the camel color, that was on clearance for, I want to say, um, $16.99 or $15.99 or somewhere in there. And I postponed getting it two times. And then when I went back the third time to actually buy it, they no longer had them, which now I'm glad they, they didn't because I ended up, and I'm just moving this thing, it's probably making me crazy. I um I found this at the rodeo and this is made out of a genuine leather. <coughs> and this was at one of those stands where, you know, they make um leather belts and they they can do them, you know, like put your name on things and you know, just one of those, you know, where they have a really good leather and I saw this for seventeen ninety nine and I could not pass it up. I just truly, truly love it. And I don't know the name of the store. I'm looking on here to see if it says the name of it. It just says fine personal leather goods. So I don't know the name of the company, but I freaking love this little wallet. Like it is so perfect. It has on either side, you can pull it up and you, you know, it, so your credit cards, you lock it down and your credit cards will stay secure. And I say credit cards. There won't be any credit cards in here. This will just be my reward type cards, my Sephora VIP card, my Walgreens um, balance rewards card, my Sally's card. I have a Landry's card in here. This is strictly going to be used for any type of rewards or coupon type of thing. Uh, my Walmart gas card. And then it does have a spot for an ID, a photo ID, which, you know, I guess if I ever... I, you know, I don't know that I would ever put my driver's license in here, but you know, if I ever really wanted to just take this, I could just throw my driver's license in there. So I just really like this. And then the, what's great about it is it also has a zipper opening. And this is where I'm going to keep my receipts at. It is still kind of tight because, um, most of the time when you get good leather like this, it's like really super, you know, like it's tight. And then after you've had it for a while, it loosens up. So that is where I'm going to keep all my receipts. So I'm pretty excited about this wallet. I think it's going to be a good, um, you know, something good to have in my purse, keep my regular wallet from getting over stuff, and then just having this right at my fingertips whenever someone does ask me for my rewards card or if I need a receipt, I know exactly where I have placed it. And so I'm just really excited about that purchase. And it was $17.99. I don't know if I said that. And then, um, oh, and this is my, this was my Missing brand. This is, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how familiar you are. But that's what they look like, the, or the tag looks like. And like I said, these were 99, and I ended up getting them for 85. And then the next thing I want to share with you is a top that I bought at Target. I buy the Massimo tank top at Target all the time. I've been buying these for several years now. I truly love these. I got this on sale last week for $7. And I actually got it to go with my camouflage um, reversible pants that I got at Target. Because as you know, I did buy a pair of shoes that are the green and the pink as well. So I think that's going to look really cute when I put that all together. And then I got a um, a jacket from Ross Dress for Less for $9.99. It's a zebra print and it's just a one button closure jacket if I can figure out where I'm at here. A one button closure, the black and white zebra print with a little hint of cobalt blue. And as I said, I got this for $9.99. Dress up my work pants and also dress up a pair, a, a skirt for work and just, you know, walk out the door and you're looking good. So I really like that. So $9.99 couldn't beat that with a stick. And then I did wear this last week and, um, I got this at, I keep saying end on, but I, oh well. Got this at the Gap, and this was not from the outlet. This was from the regular Gap store. They were 30% off, so I ended up getting it, I think, for like $25. But I just really love this top. It's kind of like a sweatshirt, and I did get this oversized because, honestly, I wanted this to be kind of big. I wanted it to um, 
be worn with my leggings or my, you know, skinny jeans, things of that nature. So I did get it big. I just washed it. So I'm thinking it may have shrunk just a tad bit. I don't know if it did or not. But um, that was one of the reasons why I didn't want to get it um, too small because I wanted it to be blousy. And it fits really good. I wore it last Monday. My husband and I got to hang out. Um, as you know, he works a lot on the weekends. And so he's in and out of town quite a bit. So we actually, when there's a three-day weekend on Monday holiday, since he's off on Mondays, we generally get to spend that Monday together. So we, I wore that when I was out with him on Monday. And I got several compliments on it. It's a great color. It's like that seafoam green. So it's a great color. And I will put a picture. I meant to bring the scarf out. I bought a, um, what is it? The, the scarf that has no end, the, the loop around scarf, I think it's what they're called. And it's like a, a fuchsia pink or a hot pink with white stripes. And I wore that with that top. And oh gosh, I got so many compliments on it with that bright pop of color to go with that top. So, and I'll post a picture of that at the end of this video because I got to bring that out of the room. And then I want to show you a pair of shoes that I got. And I got these at Ross Dress for Less, if I can get them. And I just think these are so cute. They're red and white stripes, just some cute little flats. They were $12.99 at Ross. So they were a little bit expensive for Ross. And they are by, um, they're Post Sport or, what's that say, Post Sport? I don't know what that says. Let's see. Report. They say report. Okay. And I think I've heard of that brand. I'm trying to think. I don't know. But anyhow, I really, really like these. They're super comfortable. I, you know, I think I will probably wear these this summer with like either some skinny jeans or a pair of white shorts and like my little blue denim t shirt or something or my little blue denim button down or something to that nature. And then the last thing that I'm going to tell you about as far as hauling, and then I forgot to tell you about my jewelry that I'm wearing, so I'll kind of give you a quick rundown on that. From the fossil store, I was able to get my all-famous, much, much wanted, two-tone Michael Kors watch, which, <coughs> here it is. And it's the gold and silver. And last weekend for President's Day, they were running a 40% off at the Tanger Outlet Mall. So I got this from 169 to 110 And I have wanted this watch and wanted this watch and wanted this watch, like, forever. So I'm super excited. I'm going to give you a close-up shot. There we go. I don't know. Can I get you to see it? No, let me take it off. There we go. I don't know. But I freaking love this watch. Like I said, it's the two tones. I love it. I've wanted a Michael Kors watch forever, and for one ten, you just cannot beat this. So I got it at the Tangler Outlet Mall in San Marcos for one ten. Like I'm so excited. So that is everything in my haul for last week. So that's all the spending I did last week. And um Gosh, it looks like I got a lot of stuff if you look at all the cosmetic things. But the deals that I got at the HEB stores, which is on the last video, that you couldn't beat them. And so, you know, I did what I did, and I'm happy that I did what I did. But um, so let me go ahead and tell you what jewelry that I have on today, of course, my Michael Kors watch. And then the necklace that I have on, I featured this before in an outfit of the day, I think. It was a gift from one of my coworkers that um, no longer works with me anymore, but because I had admi admired her in this particular cross, she ended up giving it to me. And I do really, really like it. It will dress up an, an outfit such as a t-shirt, just like, it just makes it, you know, gives it that, uh. And then of course I have on my sewing silver bangle bracelets that I wear like all the time. This last one back here is actually from Brighton though. It's not a sewing silver one, but I've had this for years and years and years. And then of course I, I'm wearing again today my Gap earrings. I just freaking love these earrings. I hesitated on buying them because I was like, another pair of loop earrings, why do I need them? But for the $3 price that I paid for them, and they're so light, like I don't even feel them in my ears, so it's just awesome. I mean, I just love them. So I'll probably wear them like every day for a while, you know, until I get bored. And then on my face today, I am wearing the Milani Beauty, Bronze Beauty uh, lipstick that I super, super love. The lip liner that I have on it is um, Hoover by MAC. 
my foundation today, um, well, underneath my foundation, I'm still wearing the, uh, the Urban Decay BB Cream Naked Skin. I'm still liking it so far. And I want, I've been trying to test it out with different foundations. So today I'm wearing my MAC Match Master. And I am in the number 8.0 in the MAC Match Master, which is a foundation I truly, truly love. And then on my eyes, I am wearing, today I'm wearing my Stila palette, which is, I finally, I finally laid Mac down. Like I decided to leave Mac, you know, I leave him alone for a while. Cause I've been wearing Mac to death. I wear the boy out, I'm telling you. But I'm wearing my sealer, um, in the no palette. And today I have on the, um, this orangey color, which is, um, it looks like Lure. I think that's what it says. I can't really see it. It's kind of weird or something. And then I also have on Rain and I have on, no, not Rain. I didn't put on Rain today. I have on, um, what is that? Chestnut? No. I cannot see these colors. Mm. Oh, it's dessert. Okay, dessert. And I have on um, smoke, which is the gray color. So I have on I have on this orange color. What? I'm trying to do this from the camera's perspective. I have on this orange color. I have on this gray color here. And I have on this color up here. So those are the three colors that I have on my eyes today. And... Um, my eyeliner is the Georgiana at the top, and then at the bottom I have on my Urban Decay Perversion, which I super, super love. My eyes for my mascara, I have on, um, what did I put on today? I have on the, um, It's There Real on my bottom lashes, and today on my top I just put on the Gifted um, Mascara by Tarte. And I really do like that. And of course, my primer is still my last primer from Tarte as well. And I freaking, freaking love this primer. It's really good. I'm going to try the MAC one next, but um, when that one runs out, we'll see how that one works out. But I do enjoy wearing primer underneath my mascara. It seems to work better for me. And my brows, I won't tell you. I don't know. I don't do much to those, but we'll talk about those in another video altogether. So that is all that I hauled this past week. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. And um, yeah, so have a wonderful, wonderful evening. This is the conclusion of our Sunday. If you are a Monday through Friday person, you got to get out there and hit the, the pavement on Monday morning. So I hope you have a great week. I hopefully will be doing a first impression probably long about Wednesday, I'm guessing, of this week. So, as always, God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful week to come. Bye-bye.